On a daily basis, 230,000 people are born a day. This is huge. Disasters such as the Black Plague, we've already covered the losses in a day. This is mind blowing. At this rate, we're gonna run out of natural resources to keep us going. So not only does this pollution affect our environment and our ecosystem, but it also affects our bodies. These forest fires from the deforestation that I just mentioned, they can cause asthma, heart attacks, difficulty breathing and decreased lung function. This is a quote by Zing. In 2018, the Environmental Performance Index classified air pollution as a number one largest threat to human health. This is insane. And then of course, the radiation that's being dumped into our oceans you can get radiation poisoning. This, if ingested enough, can cause death. After the Fukushima disaster with all this radiation, the fish in this area were monitored and the fish were seen as having levels of radiation. And the sad part is we don't even know if it was in population or not in the markets. It all happened so fast, how are we to know? And it's still to this day in population. Once again, we've doomed ourselves. Now, How can we fix this, you ask? Well, I can say that definitely something needs to be done at this point. It doesn't always have to be on a drastic level either. It can start with you. Just one person, one voice. It's all it takes to start a movement. Now, we can start by having people more closely watch our pollution that is being done. Now, yes, we do have places like the Environmental Protection Agency who protects our environment. That's what they're there for. But I believe that we need more people within our own communities. I know that in our area, I don't see a lot of that. I think there needs to be more. And with more, of course, we create more jobs which can only help our economy. So not only are we helping our environment, we're helping us as well. It's really a win-win situation. And finally, spread the word. This needs to be talked about. Something drastic needs to be done now, not 10 years from now, when our earth is already destroyed. Now. Now, what can you do? Because this seems something so big that you can't even handle, right? I know it does for me, but here's the thing. Like I said, it doesn't have to be something huge. You can start small. And it all starts with you becoming more aware. More aware of what you're using. What waste are you throwing out that can be reused? You know, there's glass bottles can be made into vases. I do this, you know, there's make compost piles. I've also started this, but I'm, I'm only one person. Yes, I can help to change the world one small step at a time. But if that doesn't go anywhere, if I don't help spread the word, then this isn't going to help. That's why I'm here talking to you hoping that you will do the same. Say anything, stop littering. Wait to throw your trash away when you get home. Wait, don't toss it out into our rivers, which eventually make its way back into the ocean. Don't add to the garbage patch. Please don't. Plastic takes thousands of years to decompose. And even then it still leaves a layer in our topsoil that we can't control. In 50 years from now, when they're looking back, they're gonna see just how much plastic we used. 
This is sad to me. And thirdly, educate yourself. Educate what is going on in your area. I know recently in our area, they did a lake cleanup. And this is amazing. The amount of people that showed out to help. Something that they care so strongly about. In conclusion, pollution.